Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another part to our 2D hack and slash series. And in this video, we're going to be adding in an enemy health bar. So, um, we're going to actually be creating the sprite for this. So let's come into sprites, do create sprite, and click on size. We're going to resize this. We'll give it a width of 25. Where is our width right here, 25. And make sure you turn off maintain aspect ratio, 25. And uh, then we'll give it a height of four. Um, and we're gonna actually basically draw our own health bar frame for the enemies. And I'm just gonna select this dark gray color right here. That's not dark enough actually. We need it to be darker, so come to here. That should be good. And then draw just an outline like this. And we'll rename this sprite S enemy health bar. Okay. Once we've done that, we can use our enemy parent. Let's come into our enemy parent. Here we go, because we want every enemy to draw their own health bar. So let's see, we already have, do the enemies use an alarm? I don't think any of the enemies use an alarm. So we're gonna use an alarm so that when an enemy gets hit, um, it starts drawing the health bar, but then, at, then it sets an alarm that kind of goes down. So if they don't get hit for a while, then the health bar disappears. So that um, we only see the health on enemies that have recently been hit. And that's just beneficial to not kind of crowd the screen up. So we're gonna add a new alarm event. So this is going to be for uh, displaying the health bar for the enemy, obviously. And currently, I don't think we have a max health, do we, for our enemies? Let's double check here. Oh, we do have max health, perfect, okay. So we need that. And then uh, we need to add a new draw event to our enemy parent. And of course, if we have a draw event, this overrides our base draw call, uh, which means that the enemies will no longer draw themselves, they'll all be invisible. So in order to fix that, we have to call draw self. Okay. And then inside of here, we can uh, draw the health bar. So we'll say if alarm zero is greater than zero and um, well, let's, we don't have to worry about that, that bit yet. If alarm zero is greater than zero, then we want to draw our health bar, but we need to get the height of our enemy so we can kind of offset the health a little bit based on our height. So var height equals sprite height minus sprite y offset. So that will give us the height that we need. Uh, then we can draw we can draw the, the actual health on the inside of this rectangle. So we'll say, well, we need to make sure that our sprite has the correct origin though. Um, it looks like I have it set to top left. So, so we're good there. So we're gonna do uh, draw rectangle color, oops, like this. We'll do our current X position minus 12, Y position minus height, then X minus 12 plus HP divided by max HP times 24. And uh, then, so why do we do that? That just turns that just turns the second X position. It's very similar to what we did at the player health bar. It turns the second X position 
of the rectangle that we're drawing into a percentage of the total health. So HP minus max HP will give us the percentage of health that we have remaining. And then we can multiply that percentage by 24, which is the, which is the width of our health bar here. And then we say Y minus height minus two. Then our colors, C white, C white, C white, C white, and outline false. Okay, so this draws the actual health, but let's draw our health sprite that we just made. Draw sprite S enemy health bar. Uh, image index will be zero. That's the first argument that we pass in. X will be X minus 12, just like up here. Y will be Y minus height, just like up here. And then all we need to do is make sure that when our enemies take damage that we set this alarm. So we come into our hitbox and we'll collide with a life form. Um, If other dot object index equals skeleton, we know that it's not going, we can put an else, else statement on this right here, on this if object index equals skeleton. We can say else, if it doesn't equal skeleton, we know we're hitting an enemy. So we can say other dot alarm zero equals, mm, how long do we want to set this alarm for? We kind of have to decide that. I'm going to look at my reference. Looks like I did about two seconds. So in our case, we have a 60 frames per second, I think. So that would be 120 frames. Okay. Run the game. Let's see if we get a health bar. Hmm. I don't see one. So, yeah, we got to figure out what's going on there. Let's come into our enemy parent. And let's see, we've got the draw event, which none of the enemies have their own draw event, right? Oops. Where's the enemy parent? Okay. Uh, let's put a little bit of a description here, I guess. We'll just say health bar alarm. Oh, our, our alarm can't be empty. I think that's important. If alarm is greater than zero. Let's check to see if we're actually ever making it to this point right here. This would be the logical first step. Show debug message draw health bar. Okay, so we can just put a show debug message here. See if we're ever making it to this this step. Nope. Yeah, we are. So we are making it to that step. So all of that stuff is working correctly, but our our drawing here is not working correctly. Sprite height. Let's just try doing sprite height here. I'm curious to see what, what we get. There we go. There we go. So um, it wasn't drawing it in the correct location. So sprite height seems to work better instead of subtracting the offset. Maybe we actually need to add the offset. Um, I don't know, subtracting. I guess we just want the sprite height because we're using bottom center. So sprite height seems to work fine. But either way, we'll just leave it at this. 
and uh, that should be good enough. Let's see if let's see if the health bar goes away after the alarm has finished. We'll hit it and then kind of run away and see. Should take just a couple seconds and then there it disappears. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. That's a shorter one, but I've got a lot more on the way. So uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, I will talk to you all later.